we have now concluded the unit of natural resource economics. The main objective of the unit has been to give you the tools to analyze the different kind of natural resources and their interconnection with the economic system. More or less directly, natural resources are useful to the society, in the sense that they, or the product derived from them, increase the utility of people and hence the welfare. We saw, however, that from a public perspective, and in this course we took only a public perspective, it doesn't be a course for the management of resource extraction companies, the decision concerning the amount of resources to extract and those to leave on the ground, as well as the decision on how much to save and invest versus how much to consume, are important trade-offs involving the welfare of a present generation versus those of future ones. Although we didn't saw this directly, we saw it only in terms of comparative dynamic analysis in the second lesson, the weight associated to these trade-offs are given by the interest rate. A high interest rate implies impatience for the future and a higher weight to the current generation, while a smaller interest rate gives more weight to future generations. This has deep implications, for example, in the calculation of an optimal carbon tax. On this, our models can't help. At the heart, the decision of a fair interest rate becomes something ethical. Let me note another aspect we saw only marginally against in the second lesson, those of risk and uncertainty. Uh, I don't think there would be protests for the increase of taxes on fossil fuels if you would all know with certainty that no action would mean the end of civilization in a few hundreds of years. It is because we don't know exactly, and often neither in broadly term, neither the cost of environmental damage given by climate change, nor the cost needed to mitigate it, that exist both dangers and alarmist. They both could be right. If you will want to deep your analysis on natural resource economics, you will certainly need to investigate more on the stochastic aspects. In particular, if you are interested in forest resources, I invite you to have a look on our lab, the Forest Economic Group of the Bureau d'Economie Appliqué, at the website indicated in the slide, or why not, in person. My main research topic is in long, very long term simulation models of the forest sector, intended as the biological resources and the forest supply chain. We try to see how climate change, forest management, and public policies could interact together to continue to provide services like timber production, carbon mitigation, but also water regulation and other ecosystem services. Our colleagues work uh, on the evaluation of these ecosystem services and on empirical studies uh, in general on environmental issues, not necessarily only forests. I hope you found the unit interesting and that my awkward English pronounce wasn't too much of a barrier. And you have the translation for all the introduction and summaries. I wish you good luck with the continuation of your studies.